Let's talk about some problems in units and dimensions today. The first question goes like this. A calorie is a unit of heat or energy and it equals 4.2 joules. So calorie is a unit of energy and joules is the SI unit of energy and the relation between calorie and joules is shown over here. Also, one joule is defined as one kg meter square per second square. That's how one joule is expressed in terms of uh, the more fundamental units of SI. Suppose we employ a system of units in which the unit of mass equals alpha kg, the unit of length equals beta meters, the unit of time equals gamma second. So the current standard that we follow for the fundamental units is 1 kg is the most fundamental unit of mass, 1 meter for length and 1 second for time. If we change it to alpha kg, beta meters and gamma seconds, we arrive at the context of this problem. So once we have adapted this new system, uh, we have to show that a calorie has a magnitude of 4.2 alpha raised to power minus 1, beta raised to power minus 2, gamma raised to power 2 in terms of the new units. So we have to show that the calorie now essentially is defined in this form in terms of the new units, the new fundamentals that are assumed. So let's start off by understanding the basic idea of this question. So over here, I have made a table with old and new standards. Now in the old standard, I have one meter as my standard unit of length. And let's say I have to measure this red rod over here. Now I know that this red rod is five times this yellow rod, which is my standard. So I will say the length of this rod is five times the unit length or five meters. However, if I define my new standards, taking two meters of length as my most fundamental length. So over here, if I have to measure the same red rod's length, I will say that this red rod is 2.5 times my new standard meter. So the length will come out to be 2.5 into the new unit length that I have defined. So similarly, if I have beta meters uh, as my fundamental unit, in the same fashion, the length of the red rod would be measured in that specific way by taking the new standards into consideration. Similarly, taking the example of mass as well, if I have this yellow block of 1 kg as my original standards, this block of uh, 5 kg essentially can be said as 5 times the unit mass, which is 5 times the mass of this yellow block. But if I change my unit mass itself as 2 kgs, then this red block will weigh 2.5 the unit mass because the unit mass itself has been transformed into 2 kg block. So this idea must be remembered and using the same uh, concept, we'll start solving this question. So over here you can see 1 joule is defined as 1 kg meter square per second square. That's what the question gave us. So we will go back and consider the new unit mass, which is alpha kg. So if I have to put the value of 1 kg in this original equation, I can write 1 kg as 1 by alpha times the new unit mass defined, correct? Similarly, if unit length is beta meters, 1 meter of length that I have to use over here can be defined as 1 by beta times the new unit length. And unit time, which is gamma second, if this is a new standard, then 1 second can be defined as 1 by, uh, 1 by gamma times the new unit time. Taking these ideas forward, I'll put the values of 1 kg, 1 meter and 1 second in the original equation as you can see over here. So 4.2 into 1 old unit mass, which is over here 1 kg, 1 old unit length, which is 1 meters and 1 old unit time, which is uh, over here 1 second. So if I put the values of this in terms of new, new units, I'll get 4.2 into 1 by alpha kg into 1 by beta meter whole square, 1 by gamma second whole raised to power minus 2. And upon solving this, I arrive at this equation as you can see. So I'm able to prove that one calorie in terms of new units comes out to be 4.2 alpha raised to power minus 1, beta raised to power minus, uh, minus 2 and gamma raised to power 2. I hope this is very, very clear to you. Thank you.